Only 9% favored Stefan Dion, but a whopping 42% preferred neither. The chief of the Federation of Saskatchewan Indian Nations is standing behind the decision to reinstate David Ahenikiu. Chief Lawrence Joseph says the majority of chiefs voted to re-elect Ahenikiu to the Federation's Senate, and it is in their power to do so. Ahenikiu was ousted five years ago for making anti-Semitic remarks. Joseph says while the Federation condemns the comments, it is now time to forgive. The passionate move that the chiefs have uh, uh, made here is uh, not uh, to, to thumb their noses against the justice system, but the process that we believe in is our own governance process and also our treaty, our treaty right to, to make our own decisions. Ahenikiu is facing a second trial for promoting hate after a previous conviction was overturned. The call to boycott the Beijing Summer Games appears to be gaining some momentum. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants President George Bush to skip the opening ceremonies. You know, I have not been who, one who supports a boycott of the Olympics. I've said that over and over again. The Chancellor of Germany has put on the table the idea that she, is not, that she may not attend the opening ceremony. President of France, President Sarkozy, has suggested uh, that this is something to be considered. Meanwhile, China is accusing Tibetan independence groups of planning suicide attacks, a claim they deny. Beijing claims the Dalai Lama and his supporters are behind anti-government riots that broke out in the Tibetan capital earlier this month. The 72-year-old Nobel Peace Prize winner has denied that charge, and he too has condemned the violence. The Canadian ambassador to Saudi Arabia met today with a Canadian man facing public beheading. The ambassador spoke to Mohammed Kahal, his family and his legal counsel. The 23-year-old Kohail and his 17-year-old brother Sultan were detained in January 2007 after a schoolyard brawl that left one man dead. A Saudi national was also charged. Mohammed was convicted of murder and sentenced to death. His family says Mohammed did not get a fair trial. The younger brother Sultan returns to court on Saturday. Joining us now with more on this is Mahmoud Alkin, a close family friend of the Kahal family and a reporter for a Montreal Arabic radio station. Sir, how promising is it that the Canadian ambassador uh, to Saudi Arabia had these meetings today? Well, it's not going to be very promising if it's not associated with an action from the Canadian government itself on a higher level of officials, including Mr. Bernier, who is the Foreign Minister, uh, foreign, uh, minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, the, it, it's a step maybe forward, however, it, has, it should have been done a lot earlier than that. Um, I hope the, the ambassador will be uh, briefing Mr. Bernier about what, what is going on, and Mr. Bernier will take the time and make a visit to the Saudi officials to discuss with them the legal flaws in the procedure, in the, uh, in the procedure uh, done in Kohail's case. Mm -hmm. uh, what do, we know, do we know any of the details about the meetings today? Well, we know that they spoke in generally about uh, the the government, and they're going to try to seek every way possible for Kohail to have a fair appeal. Um, um, it's it's just general in there, and they also mentioned that there are some secret uh, methods they're trying to do, or like there are there are some some secret things they cannot release because of the private act. Mm -hmm. It's that same thing we've been hearing from the government a year ago, um, and until now. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be very promising. We, Mr. Day did visit Saudi Arabia last week. However, it didn't result in much, and we did mention after his visit, according to his press release, that he met with, he did not meet with the right officials. Our concerns until now were accurate and right, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very difficult situation to be in. It, it kind of reminds, I think, a lot of Canadians of the Brenda Martin situation in Mexico. You don't want to walk into a country and tell them their justice system doesn't work. It's unfair. Our guy was railroaded. Uh, you have to be a little subtle and walk the fence, do you not, when you're dealing with these kinds of things? It's, that's very true, Dan. Uh, unfortunately, the Canadian uh, government passed, passed such a message indirectly to the Saudi government when they decided not to seek clemency for their citizen in the U.S. who is convicted of murder and he's sentenced to death. Now, the Saudis, I believe, they decoded the message accurately and very well, and that's why Mr. Day was snubbed when he visited Saudi Arabia. He did not meet with a minister of the same rank. He met with the deputy minister as well as the head of the intelligence agency. That's another message sent to the Canadian government for the insult 
uh, understood by the Saudis. So what kind of levers then do we have, sir? Even if the foreign minister gets involved, uh, what can he do that the ambassador can't do, that in fact Mr. Kohale's lawyer can't do? Well, the min minister of foreign affairs should meet with his counterpart, Saudi Faisal, and raises the concerns. He also should meet with the minister of interior in Saudi Arabia and possibly King Abdullah. Uh, now, these issues have to be raised with high-level uh, officials. When, when they do know about this problem, we hope that they're going to reconsider that and they're going to look at their flaws and communicate these concerns, send the message to the Court of Appeal that's composed of five judges as well as the initial court. There is an important thing to note, Dan, in here that the Saudi judicial system does not work as the same way the Canadian does. The Court of Appeal is not a different court. It's just going to look at a list of objections uh, done by the advocate. Um, it's going to say yes or no for the appeal, and if, in case it says we're going to accept the appeal, it's going to go back to the same initial judge who gave the death sentence. Hmm. It's very unlikely that this judge, judge will uh, reverse his decision. Uh, I understand that Mr. Kohale's lawyer was ordered out of the courtroom yesterday? This is correct. He was ordered out of courtroom and he was threatened to, to uh, revoke his permit, his legal permit as well. And do we know why this was? I believe uh, it's, it's, I hope it's an individual incident by the judge. It's this, uh, the verdict, or uh, I mean the, uh, the appeal, was handed to the same judge who gave the death sentence. It seems that the judge is taking this matter very personal. Uh, he's objecting to his decision about, about the court. It's, it's very unfortunate that we're handing the appeal to the, same, to the same judge who will be handing it to the court of appeal. And it's not very unlikely that he's going to be sitting on the same panel in the appeal. Uh, through all of this, Mr. Alkin, I get the sense that you're a little pessimistic. Well, I am. I am. But uh, there, is always a, there is always hope somewhere. I hope that the Canadian government will raise this issue with the Saudi authorities. The Saudi authorities did, did counter such incidents before, uh, including Fatat al-Qatif, where Mr. Saud al-Faisal, the, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, did 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 uh, mention that they have problem in 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 this case and they reversed that decision because it, they believed it's unfair. Mm -hmm. We believe that Mohammed did not get a fair trial and we're urging the Saudi officials as well as the Canadians to go and counter this problem. Mahmoud Al Kin, thank you very much. Sir. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Police in Ocala, Florida, were led in a wild chase through traffic today by a tow truck driver. It started when police pulled over a 28-year-old man to question him about his possible involvement in a sex crime, but then he sped off, taking officers on a wild 14-kilometer chase. Authorities finally.